Hi, I'm Brittany with County Systems, and today we're going to be sublimating a necktie. You may have seen our glossy white necktie, and then our newest addition is this mat, which we're going to be pressing today. So let's get started. First, I have my necktie, the image I'd like to display. I have a cut piece of vapor foam, heat tape, and a couple sheets of protective paper. And my last piece is my sticky lint roller. What we're going to do first is get ready to pre-press our tie. So I'll place a sheet of protective paper on the bottom of my press, grab my vapor foam, and my necktie. The vapor foam is going to help not, it's going to help prevent and make sure that there's no crease when we press down on the heat press. Okay, I have my press set at 400 degrees. I'm going to be using medium pressure and we're going to pre-press for 15 seconds. Once our 15 seconds is up, we're going to remove our tie. Sticky lint roll it while it's warm. Once you finish with your sticky lint roll, we're going to line up our tie with our image. And it's going to fit directly in the template. I'm going to be extra careful to make sure that I get my entire image because the template is quite larger than the tie. Once I have it in place, we're going to heat tape. Let's see. Once I have my last piece of heat tape in place, I'll move to my press. And this time when I press, I'll put my foam first. Sheet of protective paper on top. Make sure my tie does not move. I want to make sure that my image on my tie is completely on top of the vapor foam. And a tip for pressing these ties is you'll see how this paper is slightly larger and it will just fall off the edge of the press. This helps make sure that there's no crease or indent along with the foam, just as an extra precaution, because you do not want to have a, uh, a line or a pressed mark on the ties you're going to be selling. You want to make sure it's a nice, clean looking tie. With my papers in place, we'll get ready for pressing. Again, medium pressure, 400 degrees, and we're going to press for 40 seconds. And that sound means we're done. So I'll lift and swing away on my press. Move my top sheet of protective paper. Trying to be careful and remove the transfer as quickly as I can. Okay. This material is nice and thin, so it won't take very long to cool at all. But we'll give that just a couple of minutes and it should be done. We just finished creating our matte tie, and you can see how well it turned out. It's a very high end, high fashion looking product. And it's something different to offer than the gloss that we have done in the past. So it gives you a couple different options that you can do. And we have videos on how to press each tie. Also, the entire tie can be sublimated. So if you do not have a press that's big enough to do a full bleed, you can call Condi Printing Services with your design and we'll be able to press those for you. So that's another option for you to consider. For more products and services, be sure to check out our website at condi.com. 
can watch more of my videos at conditv.com. I'm Brittany with Condi Systems, and thank you for joining us.